Now, Ewan, I've just watched those Irish dances, and I must say, it reminds me of an Irish saying. There's an Irish saying that says, there's two kinds of people in the world, the Irish and those who wish they were Irish. And I thought that would be quite appropriate today because we are celebrating St. Patrick's Day that's celebrated worldwide tomorrow. So it's all green fever here on Expresso. Now, the Tour de France of off-road biking, the Cape Epic, is arguably the most grueling cycling event in the world. With this year's revised route and even more competitors taking up the challenge, the stage is set for the best epic yet. I'm going to be there on Friday and Saturday as part of the event, and I'll be uh, starting off some of those races. Now, for some of the last-minute tips on how to best train for an event like the Epic, we caught up with USN cyclist Jacques Mayer. Transform your body with SA's most trusted fat burner, USN FedraCut XT, clinically proven ingredients for rapid fat loss. USN, it's all about results. Try everything once. It's a great motto to live by, especially when it comes to adventure racing. Today we're meeting up with Jacques Mayer for some great tips for first-timers wanting to take on the biggest mountain bike stage race in the world. The Cape Epic is just around the corner, Africa's most untamed mountain bike race. Now this morning I'm meeting up with a mountain bike enthusiast and epic contender to tell us exactly what the epic is all about. And this is one race you do not want to take lightly. Jock, nice to see you, man. Feeling yourself. Good. So, Jock, how are you feeling? The Cape Epic is literally just around the corner. I'm feeling great. Yeah. Yes. Just this last two weeks, just to be uh, aware of your health factors and stuff, keeping your immune system high. Let's talk a bit about the Epic. Now, it's a seven-day stage race, but how intense is it really? Because I know a lot of people say this is a race not to be taken lightly. I can tell you we've just done, like, four weeks ago, we did the Garden Route 300. And I think that's the closest that I've got to doing stage racing like uh, the Epic would be. And it was three days, roughly 300 kilometers of riding and 6,000 meters of climbing. And we expended roughly 5,000 calories per day. And 5,000 calories a normal human being normally uses 2,000 to 2,200 calories a day. So you need to get almost three times that per day. And this is, on the Epic, it's gonna be for almost eight days in a row. And this is your first Epic? Yes, it's my first epic. How are you feeling, really? Come on, spill those emotions. Butterfly starts going in the stomach. Yeah, you just you start feeling kind of the pressure of, of keeping everything intact. Your health, your, um, obviously you've done the training, but now just to get the final touches going before you do the event. This is Jacques' first Cape Epic. He took on the challenge in aid of a charity because he loves cycling. Everything from spinning to off-road racing, as long as he's pedaling. If you are a first-time contender, should you be training with someone that did the Epic before? Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're doing it for the first time, um, there's a few factors that you need to take in consideration while training. If you're gonna start off doing too much intensity too quickly in, in that four or five month buildup, to the Epic, you're already going to expend too much energy and, and you're going to start getting issues with health, immune systems and stuff like that. And when the Epic comes, you're already going to be almost drained of all your energy. So you need to progressively take it forward um, until you get to the actual event. Because of the intensity of the training, I'm sure supplementation comes in very, very handy. Now, what are some of the supplements that you use? I'm doing ultra marathons and endurance training events. There's specific ultra endurance stacks that you use. Success at this event is enhanced with the perfect stack of pre, during and post-race supplementation to give cyclists the energy they need to support the body's muscle repair process. This is very impressive. So what do we have here? Indira Cobbs is a complex carbohydrate drink that you drink I would say a week or three days, four days prior to the event just to top up that glycogen levels and electrolyte levels to a full capacity. You don't want to go into a, something like an Epic which is an ultra marathon stage race and you deplete it on some of these things. The next one which I would never go without is Epic Pro all in one. And this one has been formulated specifically for the Epic. It has been. It contains Amino acids so it just helps you to get you through every day, which helps you with energy production and to recover those energy stores. And then also protein from Pepto Pro. And why Pepto Pro? Because it's a very fast absorbable protein. It's easily digested, so it doesn't tax your body a lot in terms of getting the protein into the muscle and actually helping with recovery. It's got your carbohydrates, long glucose polymers, and other types of carbohydrates, which gives you energy for a longer lasting effect when on the bike. 
Recovery is a vital part of the race. After a grueling day in the saddle, you need to be able to do it all again come sunrise the next morning. This is where USN makes all the difference. I would normally drink something like Recover Max. It comes in, in chocolate and strawberry flavor. I would rather have something like this directly after the training session or the event, just to top up that energy levels, get the electrolytes in, and also get the whey protein in, which is gonna help you to recover the muscles that you've damaged while doing the training. Now Jacques, I've never done a stage race before, but I have done longer cycling events, and sometimes I found that the energy levels just drop. Anything that you can use to give you a bit of a boost. And then you can use something like Vuma. It comes in vanilla, peach, and berry, and the berry contains a little bit more added caffeine, and just tearing off the top and squirting it in your mouth and just washing it down with water. It's gonna give you energy for the next 30 to 35, 40 minutes just to sustain that energy demands that you need up a climb or something. Well, we are behind you all the way and I know you are gonna perform like crazy. Good luck. Thanks a lot. 1,200 competitors, 800 kilometers of rugged, unforgiving terrain and eight days of grueling physical exertion. This year's Tour de France of off-road biking is said to be more epic than ever. USN Fedricut XT, clinically proven ingredients for rapid fat loss. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.